I waste so much time trying to find a place to study on campus. I probably spend like 30 to 45 minutes a day, sometimes an hour, just wandering around to school trying to find a place to study. And it cuts into my study time so much where I could be um, effectively studying. So currently we have no data really on some of the decisions we make on study spaces and how we allocate resources uh, to those study spaces, whether it's furniture upgrades or, or anything along those uh, lines. So it, it, it's a problem. Meet SmartSpace. SmartSpace is an Internet of Things sensor network and a web app. Sensors are placed around campus on study spots, which detect whether someone is sitting there or not even if they are just occupying the space with simply a notebook. Students can explore all the study spaces on campus on the web app by clicking on different buildings and different rooms. Students can also create accounts and keep track of their favorite study spaces through our web app. So now let's get into the hardware aspect of our project. Our sensors are powered by an Arduino MKR1000 which is an ideal board for Internet of Things devices due to its built-in Wi-Fi connectivity. This Arduino then powers an IR sensor, which measures distance to determine whether or not a study space is occupied. One of the major reasons that we chose an IR sensor over other alternatives is that if someone gets up to go to the bathroom or go get food and they leave their stuff on the desk, we don't want the web app to change that spot back to available. Having the IR sensor on top of the desk allows it to see not only if you are occupying the spot, but also if you're reserving the spot with your stuff, which happens quite often. Next, we wanted our sensors to be interchangeable. So another crucial aspect of our hardware design is this RFID reader. This allows our sensors to be placed in any study spot. For example, when one sensor is about to die, a facilities person can put it in the charging station and replace it with any other sensor, which will then read the RFID tag on the desk and know exactly where it was just placed. This feature makes our hardware much more robust and scalable. We also needed a user interface for the facilities personnel who will be overseeing our sensors, which we achieved by having an LED to indicate whether or not the sensor is paired with an RFID tag and communicating correctly with the web app. Finally, there is the battery, which can be wirelessly charged via the QI receiver shown on the bottom. All of these electronics are then encased in a 3D printed housing, which has our logo and website laser cut on top of it. Here we have our wireless charging rack where unused sensors are currently being charged. When one dies, you simply replace it by putting it on a charging mat and choosing another one to take its spot. These are interchangeable because of the RFID chip reader, which can be seen here. Currently, a sensor is unpaired because the light is blinking. The light turns to green and it indicates that it's successfully paired and ready to go. Now, a student will demonstrate occupying seat number 40, which is currently available. The student sits down in front of the sensor and the web app updates to gray, showing the seat is now taken. SmartSpace offers more than just the web app and sensor network. Our product also includes a data analytics dashboard for university administrators, where they can view and compare important usage metrics on space. For example, university administrators can view the popular times of certain rooms, as well as the probability that a certain number of seats will be available at any given time. This data would also be accessible for students on the web app, but the university would have far more information on the data analytics dashboard. The dashboard would also include information about app and user analytics to provide more thorough insight. For example, we would show where users click on the app first, meaning which room do they click on first, second or third. Just knowing the time that a space is occupied doesn't tell the whole story behind it.